the discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope are transforming our understanding of the universe in ways we could hardly have imagined. By peering deep into the distant past, the telescope reveals cosmic phenomena that were previously beyond our reach. And just recently, a groundbreaking discovery has challenged our most fundamental assumptions about the size of the universe. According to a newly published paper, images from the JWST have unveiled celestial objects that existed just 120 million years after the Big Bang. This revelation doesn't just deepen our understanding, it potentially upends the standard cosmological model entirely. Astronomers admit that what they found in these early images of the universe was completely unexpected. The universe, as we know, is incredibly old, but not infinitely so. Even Einstein initially believed in an eternal, timeless universe with no beginning. That notion, however, was proven incorrect, and it's a reminder of how often our cosmic intuition fails us. Einstein thought, of course, the universe must have an infinite age without a starting point. Well, he was wrong. So uh, our intuition has just been wrong almost all the time. In fact, we're now more certain than ever that we're on a continuous journey of discovery and the future holds surprises we can't yet predict. Take this for example, when the Webb telescope scans as far into space as possible, it can observe up to a distance of 46.5 billion light years. This boundary, known as the Hubble radius or Hubble sphere, marks the extent of our visible universe. Interestingly, even the farthest galaxies detected by JWST, such as the famous Macy's Galaxy, estimated to have formed just 450 million years after the Big Bang, exist within this sphere. But here's the twist. The universe is expanding. As it does, the Hubble sphere grows larger, making it theoretically possible for objects currently beyond its boundary to become visible in the future. The Webb Telescope's discoveries are not just expanding our horizons, they're redefining what we thought was possible in the vast cosmos. Here's where things become even more fascinating. The universe isn't just expanding, it's accelerating in its expansion. This acceleration has profound implications for how we perceive the cosmos and what lies beyond our reach. Outside the boundary of the Hubble sphere, the universe's expansion is faster than the speed of light. This rapid stretching of space means the size of the Hubble region won't grow indefinitely. When we observe extremely distant objects beyond this boundary, the light they emit is trying to reach us. However, because of the accelerating expansion, the space between us and these distant objects is stretching so quickly that their light can never catch up. As a result, the Hubble sphere will eventually reach a limit, the cosmic horizon. This defines the observable universe, a 93 billion light year wide spherical shell centered around us. Within this shell, the light from galaxies and stars has had enough time to travel across cosmic distances to reach us. But beyond this limit, objects are forever hidden from view. Even the most powerful telescopes, theoretical or real, cannot detect them because their light hasn't, and likely never will, reach us. This raises an intriguing question. How vast is the universe beyond this observable boundary? The truth is, we don't know. Mathematical models and cosmological theories offer competing estimates, but no definitive answer. Some research suggests the full universe could be at least 250 times larger than the observable universe. Others hypothesize staggering figures, such as 10 raised to the power of 10, raised to the power of 10, raised to the power of 122 times larger, a number so immense it defies comprehension. Yet, the uniform distribution of matter and the isotropic temperature of the cosmic microwave background radiation hint at an even more astonishing possibility that the universe might be infinite. If true, this rewrites our understanding of the cosmos entirely. Here's another intriguing perspective. When we look deep into space, we are essentially looking back in time. 
The most distant galaxies near the edge of the Hubble sphere don't exist as we see them today. Instead, we observe them as they were billions of years ago, a snapshot of the universe's ancient past. Now, according to the standard cosmological model about 14 billion years ago, everything in the observable universe, and perhaps beyond, was compressed into an unimaginably dense and hot point, often called a singularity. But here's the twist. If the universe is infinite, it was always infinite, even during the Big Bang. This means the Big Bang didn't happen at a specific point in space. Instead, it occurred everywhere, simultaneously, throughout an already infinite expanse. In this context, the first galaxies didn't form in one particular region. They emerged throughout the entire universe, including regions beyond the observable boundaries we can never see. This universal simultaneity reshapes how we think about the origins of everything we know and everything we can only imagine. It seems that matter didn't emerge from a single point in space, but rather came into existence everywhere in the universe simultaneously. The cosmic microwave background radiation we detect from all directions is the first light of this matter, a relic of the universe's early moments. This suggests that the singularity wasn't a pinpoint origin, but an infinite realm where everything, everywhere, began around 13.8 billion years ago. However, new discoveries from the Webb telescope are challenging this long-held view of a 13.8 billion year old universe. Each deep field image captured by Webb reveals phenomena that push us to rethink the standard Big Bang model. Take, for instance, the year 2022, when astronomers believed that Sears 93316 was the most distant known unconfirmed galaxy. Later studies revealed it wasn't as distant as initially thought, but instead appeared highly reddened by dust clouds. Yet, the Webb telescope has once again shattered expectations by uncovering a galaxy candidate with an ultra-high red shift. The newly identified F200DB045 is estimated to have a red shift of approximately ZE equals to 20.4 comma, corresponding to just 168 million years after the Big Bang. If confirmed, this would make it one of the earliest and most distant galaxies ever observed. However, confirmation will require rigorous testing and further analysis. If this discovery holds up, it could force a significant revision of the standard cosmological model and lead to a re-evaluation of the universe's age. This isn't the first time Webb has challenged our understanding. Just months ago, the telescope detected massive galaxies existing mere millions of years after the Big Bang, a finding that seems impossible under our current models. These discoveries underline a growing realization. The cosmos is far more mysterious and complex than we ever imagined, and the JWST continues to reveal its secrets, one surprising discovery at a time. For galaxies to form so quickly after the Big Bang, nearly all the gas in the universe would need to convert into stars with almost 100% efficiency, a scenario that's not just unlikely, but scientifically impossible. To put this into perspective, our Milky Way galaxy took 13.7 billion years to take shape. Yet, the Webb telescope has discovered galaxies comparable to the Milky Way, forming only a few million years after the Big Bang. This astonishing discovery could redefine how we understand the formation of the earliest galaxies. Adding to the intrigue, researchers from the GANIFS group using the Webb telescope have uncovered another extraordinary event in the early universe. Two merging black holes from just 700 million years after the Big Bang. The Webb Telescope's powerful infrared capabilities have captured this rare glimpse of an early black hole collision. Scientists now theorize that frequent black hole mergers could have been a primary mechanism for black hole growth in the universe's infancy. 
These findings collectively suggest that the universe may be much older than we currently estimate, or perhaps it had no beginning at all. If the universe is infinite in size, as some observations imply, it's plausible that its age is also infinite. What we interpret as the Big Bang could merely represent a specific phase in the evolution of an eternally existing cosmos rather than the true origin of everything. However, this hypothesis requires more research. The idea of an eternal universe challenges our current scientific framework and raises questions about whether it can cohesively explain the events surrounding the Big Bang. That's all for today. Share your thoughts in the comments. How do you feel about this ongoing crisis in cosmology? Thanks for watching and stay curious.